Bengal, Bengali, Banla Banga Translit. Bangla, Bongo Bengali pronunciation, Bigo is a geopolitical, cultural and historical region in South Asia, specifically in the eastern part of the Indian subcontinent at the apex of the Bay of Bengal. Geographically, it is made up by the Ganges Brahmaputra Delta system, the largest such formation in the world, along with mountains in its north bordering the Himalayan states of Nepal and Bhutan and east bordering Burma. Politically, Bengal is currently divided between Bangladesh, which covers two thirds of the region, and the Indian territories of West Bengal, Tripura, and Assam's Barak Valley, altogether cover the remaining one third. In 2011, the population of Bengal was estimated to be 250 million, making it one of the most densely populated regions in the world. Among them, an estimated 160 million people live in Bangladesh and 91.3 million people live in West Bengal. The predominant ethnolinguistic group is the Bengali people, who speak the Indo-Aryan Bengali language. Bengali Muslims are the majority in Bangladesh and Bengali Hindus are the majority in West Bengal and Tripura, while Barak Valley contains almost equal proportions of Bengali Hindus and Bengali Muslims. Outside Bengal proper, the Indian territories of Jharkhand, Bihar and the Andaman and Nicobar Islands are also home to significant communities of Bengalis. Dense woodlands, including hilly rainforests, cover Bengal's northern and eastern areas, while an elevated forested plateau covers its central area. In the littoral southwest are the Sundarbans, the world's largest mangrove forest and home of the Bengal tiger. In the coastal southeast lies Cox's Bazaar, the longest beach in the world at 125 kilometers, 78 miles. The region has a monsoon climate, which the Bengali calendar divides into 6 seasons. At times an independent regional empire, the Bengal was a leading power in Southeast Asia and later the Islamic East with extensive trade networks. In antiquity, its kingdoms were known as seafaring nations. Bengal was known to the Greeks as Gangaridae, notable for mighty military power. It was described by Greek historians that Alexander the Great withdrew from the Southeast Asia, anticipating a counterattack from an alliance of Gangaridae. Later writers noted merchant shipping links between Bengal and Roman Egypt. The Bengali Pala Empire was the last major Buddhist imperial power in the subcontinent, founded in 750 and becoming the dominant power in the northern Indian subcontinent by the 9th century, before being replaced by the Hindu Sina dynasty in the 12th century. Islam was introduced during the Pala Empire, through trade with the Abbasid Caliphate. The Islamic Bengal Sultanate, founded in 1352, was absorbed into the Mughal Empire in 1576. The Mughal Bengal Suba province became a major global exporter, a centre of worldwide industries such as muslin, silk, pearl, cotton textiles, and shipbuilding. Bengal was conquered by the British East India Company in 1757 by Battle of Plassey and became the Bengal Presidency of British Raj, which experienced deindustrialisation under British rule. The company increased agriculture tax rates from 10% to up to 50 causing the Great Bengal Famine of 1770 and the deaths of 10 million Bengalis. Bengal played a major role in the Indian independence movement, in which revolutionary groups were dominant. 
Armed attempts to overthrow the British Raj began with the rebellion of Titamir, and reached a climax when Subhas Chandra Bose led the Indian National Army allied with Japan to fight against the British. A large number of Bengalis died in the independence struggle and many were exiled in cellular jail, located in Andaman. The United Kingdom Cabinet Mission of 1946, split the region into India and Pakistan popularly known as Partition of Bengal 1947, opposed by the Prime Minister of Bengal Hussein Shaheed Sirwardi and nationalist leader Sarat Chandra Bose. They campaigned for a united and independent nation-state of Bengal. The initiative failed owing to British diplomacy and communal conflict between Muslims and Hindus. Later Pakistan ruled East Bengal becoming the independent nation of Bangladesh by Bangladesh War of Independence in 1971. Bengali culture has been particularly influential in the fields of literature, music, shipbuilding, art, architecture, sports, currency, commerce, politics and cuisine. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The name of Bengal is derived from the ancient kingdom of Banga, the earliest records of which date back to the Mahabharata epic in the first millennium BCE. Theories on the origin of the term Banga point to the Proto-Dravidian Bong tribe that settled in the area circa 1000 BCE and the Austric word Bong sun god. The term Vangaladeza is used to describe the region in 11th century South Indian records. The modern term Bangla is prominent from the 14th century, which saw the establishment of the Sultanate of Bengal, whose first ruler Shamsuddin Ilyas Shah was known as the Shah of Bangala. The Portuguese referred to the region as Bengala in the Age of Discovery. The modern English name Bengal is an exonym derived from the Bengal Sultanate period. Topic: <laughs> Geography. <laughs> 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 Most of the Bengal region lies in the Ganges Brahmaputra Delta, but there are highlands in its north, northeast and southeast. The Ganges Delta arises from the confluence of the rivers Ganges, Brahmaputra, and Meghna rivers and their respective tributaries. The total area of Bengal is 232,752 square kilometers. West Bengal is 88752 square kilometers 34267 square miles and Bangladesh 147570 square kilometers 56977 square miles The flat and fertile Bangladesh plain dominates the geography of Bangladesh the Chittagong Hill tracts and Salet regions are home to most of the mountains in Bangladesh. Most parts of Bangladesh are within 10 metres 33 feet above the sea level, and it is believed that about 10% of the land would be flooded if the sea level were to rise by 1 metre 3 .3 feet. Because of this low elevation, much of this region is exceptionally vulnerable to seasonal flooding due to monsoons. The highest point in Bangladesh is in Modoc Range at 1,052 metres 3,451 feet. A major part of the coastline comprises a marshy jungle, the Sundarbans, the largest mangrove forest in the world and home to diverse flora and fauna, including the Royal Bengal Tiger. In 1997, this region was declared endangered. West Bengal is on the eastern bottleneck of India, stretching from the Himalayas in the north to the Bay of Bengal in the south. 
The state has a total area of 88,752 square kilometers, 34,267 square miles. The Darjeeling Himalayan hill region in the northern extreme of the state belongs to the Eastern Himalaya. This region contains Sandakfu, 3,636 meters, 11,929 feet, the highest peak of the state. The narrow Terai region separates this region from the plains, which in turn transitions into the Ganges Delta towards the south. The RARH region intervenes between the Ganges Delta in the east and the western plateau and high lands. A small coastal region is on the extreme south, while the Sundarbans mangrove forests form a remarkable geographical landmark at the Ganges Delta. At least nine districts in West Bengal and 42 districts in Bangladesh have arsenic levels in groundwater above the World Health Organization maximum permissible limit of 50 micrograms per litre or 50 parts per billion and the untreated water is unfit for human consumption. The water causes arsenicosis, skin cancer and various other complications in the body. Landscapes Topic Geographic Distinctions Topic North Bengal North Bengal is a term used for the northwestern part of Bangladesh and northern part of West Bengal. The Bangladeshi part comprises Rajshahi division and Rangpur division. Generally, it is the area lying west of Jamuna River and north of Padma River, and includes the Barind Tract. Politically, West Bengal's part comprises Jalpaiguri Division Alipurdwar, Kuchbihar, Darjeeling, Jalpaiguri, North Dinajpur, South Dinajpur and Malda together and Bihar's parts include Kishinganj District. Darjeeling Hills are also part of North Bengal. Although only people of Jaipaiguri, Alipurdwar and Kuch Bihar identifies themselves as North Bengali. North Bengal is divided into Terai and Daors regions. North Bengal is also noted for its rich cultural heritage, including two UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Aside from the Bengali majority, North Bengal is home to many other communities including Nepalese, Santhal people, Lepchas and Rajbongshis. <laughs> Northeast Bengal Northeast Bengal refers to the Silet division of Bangladesh and the Barak Valley in the Indian state of Assam. The region is noted for its distinctive fertile highland terrain, extensive tea plantations, rainforests and wetlands. The Surma and Barak rivers are the geographic markers of the area. The city of Salet is its largest urban center, and the most spoken vernacular language in the region is the Saleti dialect of Bengali. The endonym of the region is Srihatta. The region was ruled by the Kamarupa and Harakala kingdoms. It later became a district of the Mughal Empire. Alongside the predominant Bengali population resides a small Bishnupriya Manipuri minority. The region is the crossroads of Bengal and northeast India. Topic: <inaudible> Central Bengal. Central Bengal refers to the Dhaka division of Bangladesh. It includes the elevated Madhupur tract with a large sal tree forest. The Padma River cuts through the southern part of the region, separating the greater Faridpur region. 
In the north lies the Greater Mai Mensing and Tangail regions. Topic: <laughs> South Bengal. South Bengal covers the southern part of the Indian state of West Bengal and southwestern Bangladesh. The Indian part of South Bengal includes 12 districts, Kolkata, Howrah, Huli, Burdwan, East Midnapur, West Midnapur, Purulia, Bankura, Birbhum, Nadia, South 24 Parganas, North 24 Parganas. The Bangladeshi part includes the proposed Faridpur Division, Kulna Division and Barisal Division. The Sundarbans, a major biodiversity hotspot, is located in South Bengal. Bangladesh hosts 60% of the forest, with the remainder in India. Topic: <laughs> Southeast Bengal. Southeast Bengal refers to the hilly and coastal Bengali speaking areas of Chittagong Division in southeastern Bangladesh and the Indian state of Tripura. Southeast Bengal is noted for its thalassocratic and seafaring heritage. The area was dominated by the Bengali Harakala and Samatata kingdoms in antiquity. It was known to Arab traders as Harkand in the 9th century. During the medieval period, the region was ruled by the Sultanate of Bengal, the Kingdom of Tripura, the Kingdom of Marauk U, the Portuguese Empire and the Mughal Empire, prior to the advent of British rule. The Chittagonian dialect of Bengali is prevalent in coastal areas of southeast Bengal. Along with its Bengali population, it is also home to Tibeto-Burman ethnic groups, including the Chakma, Mama, Tanchanya, Tripuri and Borm peoples. Southeast Bengal is considered a bridge to Southeast Asia. <laughs> Places of interest There are four World Heritage Sites in the region, including the Sundarbans, the Somapura Mahavihara, the Mosque City of Bagahat and the Darjeeling Himalayan Railway. Other prominent places include the Bishnupa, Bankura Temple City, the Adena Mosque, the Caravansary Mosque, numerous Zamandar palaces like Asan Manzil and Kuch Bihar Palace, the Lalbar Fort, the Great Caravansary Ruins, the Shasta Khan Caravansary Ruins, the Kolkata Victoria Memorial, the Dhaka Parliament Building, archaeologically excavated ancient fort cities in Mahesthangar, Mainamata. T. Chandraketuga and Wari Bhatteshwar, the Jaldapara National Park, the Lorachara National Park, the Technif Game Reserve and the Chittagong Hill Tracts. Cox's Bazaar in southeastern Bangladesh is home to the longest natural beach in the world and a growing surfing destination. St. Martin's Island, off the coast of Chittagong Division, is home to the sole coral reef in Bengal. <inaudible> <inaudible> Flora and fauna The flat Bengal plain, which covers most of Bangladesh and West Bengal, is one of the most fertile areas on earth, with lush vegetation and farmland dominating its landscape. Bengali villages are buried among groves of mango, jackfruit, betel nut and date palm. Rice, jute, mustard and sugarcane plantations are a common sight. Water bodies and wetlands provide a habitat for many aquatic plants in the Ganges Brahmaputra Delta. The northern part of the region features Himalayan foothills with densely wooded sal and other tropical evergreen trees. 
above an elevation of 1000 meters 3300 feet the forest becomes predominantly subtropical with a predominance of temperate forest trees such as oaks conifers and rhododendrons sal woodland is also found across central bangladesh particularly in the bawal national park the lorachara national park is a rainforest in northeastern bangladesh the Chittagong Hill Tracts in southeastern Bangladesh is noted for its high degree of biodiversity. The littoral Sundarbans in the southwestern part of Bengal is the largest mangrove forest in the world and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The region has over 89 species of mammals, 628 species of birds and numerous species of fish. For Bangladesh, the water lily, the oriental magpie robin, the hilsa and mango tree are national symbols. For West Bengal, the white-throated kingfisher, the chatham tree and the night-flowering jasmine are state symbols. The Bengal tiger is the national animal of Bangladesh and India. The fishing cat is the state animal of West Bengal. History Prehistory Human settlement in Bengal can be traced back 20,000 years. Remnants of Copper Age settlements date back 4,300 years. Archaeological evidence confirms that by the second millennium BCE, rice cultivating communities inhabited the region. By the 11th century BCE, the people of the area lived in systemically aligned housing, used human cemeteries and manufactured copper ornaments and fine black and red pottery. The Ganges, Brahmaputra and Meghna rivers were natural arteries for communication and transportation. Estuaries on the Bay of Bengal allowed for maritime trade. The early Iron Age saw the development of metal weaponry, coinage, permanent field agriculture and irrigation. From 600 BCE, the second wave of urbanization engulfed the North Indian subcontinent, as part of the northern black polished ware culture. <inaudible> Antiquity Ancient Bengal was divided between the regions of Varandra, Suma, Anga, Vanga, Samatata and Harakala. Early Indian literature described the region as a thalassocracy, with colonies in Southeast Asia and the Indian Ocean. For example, the first recorded king of Sri Lanka was a Bengali prince called Vijaya. The region was known to the ancient Greeks and Romans as Gangaridae. The Greek ambassador Megasthenes chronicled its military strength and dominance of the Ganges Delta. The invasion army of Alexander the Great was deterred by the accounts of Gangaridae's power in 325 BCE. Later Roman accounts noted maritime trade routes with Bengal and a Roman amphora has been found in Purba Medinapur district, made in Alana present-day Akaba in Jordan between the 4th and 7th centuries AD. Another prominent kingdom in ancient Bengal was Pundravadana which was located in northern Bengal with its capital being located in modern day Bogra. The kingdom was prominently Buddhist leaving behind historic viharas such as Mahesthangar. In Vedic mythology the royal families of Magadha, Anga, Vanga, Suma and Kalinga were all related and descended from one king. Ancient Bengal was considered a part of Magadha region, which was the cradle of Indian arts and sciences. 
Currently the Magadha region is divided into several states that are Bihar, Jharkhand and Bengal, West Bengal, and East Bengal the legacy of Magadha includes the concept of zero, the invention of chess and the theory of solar and lunar eclipses and the Earth orbiting the Sun. Secular Sanskrit, or standard Old Indo-Aryan, was spoken across Bengal. The Bengali language evolved from Old Indo-Aryan Sanskrit dialects. The region was ruled by Hindu, Buddhist and Jain dynasties, including the Mauryans, Guptas, Varmans, Khadgas, Palas, Chandras and Sinas among others. In the 9th century, Arab Muslim traders frequented Bengali seaports and found the region to be a thriving seafaring kingdom with well-developed coinage and banking. <inaudible> medieval era The Pala Empire was an imperial power in the Indian subcontinent, which originated in the region of Bengal. They were followers of the Mahayana and Tantric schools of Buddhism. The empire was founded with the election of Gopala as the emperor of Gorda in 750. At its height in the early 9th century, the Pala Empire was the dominant power in the northern subcontinent, with its territory stretching across parts of modern-day eastern Pakistan, northern and northeastern India, Nepal and Bangladesh. The empire enjoyed relations with the Srivijaya Empire, the Tibetan Empire, and the Arab Abbasid Caliphate. Islam first appeared in Bengal during Pala rule, as a result of increased trade between Bengal and the Middle East. The resurgent Hindu Sena dynasty dethroned the Pala Empire in the 12th century, ending the reign of the last major Buddhist imperial power in the subcontinent. Muslim conquests of the Indian subcontinent absorbed Bengal in 1204. The region was annexed by the Delhi Sultanate. Muslim rule introduced agrarian reform, a new calendar and Sufism. The region saw the rise of important city-states in Sanagaon, Satgaon and Lakhnorti. By 1352, Ilyas Shah achieved the unification of an independent Bengal. In the 14th and 15th centuries, the Bengal Sultanate was a major diplomatic, economic and military power in the subcontinent. It developed the subcontinent's relations with China, Egypt, the Timurid Empire and East Africa. In 1540, Sher Shah Suri was crowned emperor of the northern subcontinent in the Bengali capital Gaua. Topic: Mughal era, 1576 to 1757. The Mughal Empire conquered Bengal in the 16th century. The Bengal Suba province in the Mughal Empire was the wealthiest state in the subcontinent. Bengal's trade and wealth impressed the Mughals so much that it was described as the paradise of the nations by the Mughal emperors. The region was also notable for its powerful semi-independent aristocracy, including the Twelve Buyans and the Nawabs of Bengal. It was visited by several world explorers, including Ibn Battuta, Niccolo de Conti and Admiral Zheng He. Under Mughal rule, Bengal was a centre of the worldwide muslin, silk and pearl trades. During the Mughal era, the most important centre of cotton production was Bengal, particularly around its capital city of Dhaka, leading to muslin being called, Dhaka, in distant markets such as Central Asia. Domestically, much of India depended on Bengali products such as rice, silks and cotton textiles. 
Overseas, Europeans depended on Bengali products such as cotton textiles, silks, and opium. Bengal accounted for 40% of Dutch imports from Asia, for example, including more than 50% of textiles and around 80% of silks. From Bengal, saltpetre was also shipped to Europe, opium was sold in Indonesia, raw silk was exported to Japan and the Netherlands, cotton and silk textiles were exported to Europe, Indonesia, and Japan, cotton cloth was exported to the Americas and the Indian Ocean. Bengal also had a large shipbuilding industry. In terms of shipbuilding tonnage during the 16th–18th centuries, the annual output of Bengal alone totaled around 2,232,500 tonnes, larger than the combined output of the Dutch 450,000 to 550,000 tonnes, the British 340,000 tonnes, and North America 23,061 tonnes, since the 16th century, European traders traversed the sea routes to Bengal, following the Portuguese conquests of Malacca and Goa. The Portuguese established a settlement in Chittagong with permission from the Bengal Sultanate in 1528, but were later expelled by the Mughals in 1666. In the 18th century, the Mughal court rapidly disintegrated due to Nader Shah's invasion and internal rebellions, allowing European colonial powers to set up trading posts across the territory. The British East India Company eventually emerged as the foremost military power in the region, and defeated the last independent Nawab of Bengal at the Battle of Plassey in 1757. Colonial era In Bengal effective political and military power was transferred from the old regime to the British East India Company around 1757–65, company rule in India began under the Bengal Presidency. Calcutta was named the capital of British India in 1772. The presidency was run by a military civil administration, including the Bengal Army, and had the world's sixth earliest railway network. Great Bengal famines struck several times during colonial rule notably the Great Bengal Famine of 1770 and Bengal Famine of 1943. The Indian Rebellion of 1857 was initiated on the outskirts of Calcutta, and spread to Dhaka, Chittagong, Jalpaiguri, Salet and Agartala, in solidarity with revolts in North India. The failure of the rebellion led to the abolishment of the Mughal court and direct rule by the British Raj. The late 19th and early 20th century Bengal Renaissance had a great impact on the cultural and economic life of Bengal. Between 1905 and 1912, an abortive attempt was made to divide the province of Bengal into two zones, that included the short-lived province of Eastern Bengal and Assam based in Dhaka and Shillong. Under British rule, Bengal experienced deindustrialization. In 1876, 200,000 people were killed in Bengal by the Great Bangladesh Cyclone. Bengal played a major role in the Indian independence movement, in which revolutionary groups were dominant. Armed attempts to overthrow the British Raj began with the rebellion of Titamir, and reached a climax when Subhas Chandra Bose led the Indian National Army against the British. Bengal was also central in the rising political awareness of the Muslim population. The All India Muslim League was established in Dhaka in 1906. The Muslim homeland movement pushed for a sovereign state in eastern British India with the Lahore Resolution in 1943. 
Hindu nationalism was also strong in Bengal, which was home to groups like the Hindu Mahasava. In spite of a last-ditch effort to form a united Bengal, when India gained independence in 1947, Bengal was partitioned along religious lines. The western part went to India and was named West Bengal while the eastern part joined Pakistan as a province called East Bengal later renamed East Pakistan, giving rise to Bangladesh in 1971. The circumstances of partition were bloody, with widespread religious riots in Bengal. The 1970 Bola cyclone took the lives of 500,000 people in Bengal, making it one of the deadliest recorded cyclones. Topic: <laughs> Post-partition 1947 present. India West Bengal West Bengal became one of India's most populous states. Calcutta, the former capital of the British Raj, became the state capital of West Bengal and continued to be India's largest city until the late 20th century, when severe power shortages, strikes and a violent Marxist Naxalite movement damaged much of the state's infrastructure in the 1960s and 70s, leading to a period of economic stagnation. West Bengal politics underwent a major change when the Left Front won the 1977 Assembly election, defeating the incumbent Indian National Congress. The Left Front, led by the Communist Party of India Marxist CPI -M, governed the state for over three decades, which was the world's longest elected communist administration in history. Since the 2000s, West Bengal has experienced an economic rejuvenation, particularly in its IT industry. Tripura The princely state of Hill Tipura, that was under the suzerainty of British India, was ruled by a Bengali-speaking monarchy. Following the death of Maharaja Bir Bikram Kishore Debaman, the princely state acceded to the Union of India on 15 October 1949 under the Tripura Merger Agreement signed by Maharani Regent Kanchan Prava Devi. By the 1950s, the region had a Bengali majority population due to the influx of Hindus from East Pakistan after partition. It became a Union Territory of India in November 1953. It was granted full statehood with an elected legislature in July 1963. An insurgency by indigenous people affected the state for several years. The Left Front ruled the state between 1978 and 1988, followed by a stint of Indian National Congress rule until 1993, and then a return to the Communists. Barak Valley The Barak Valley joined the Union of India after its partition from Salet in 1947 and has been a part of the state of Assam. One of the most significant events in the region's history was the language movement in 1961, in which the killing of agitators by state police led to Bengali being recognized as one of the official languages of Assam. The issue of Bengali settlement in the state has been a contentious part of the Assam conflict. Topic: Bangladesh. Topic: East Pakistan, 1947 to 1971. In 1948, the government of the Dominion of Pakistan ordained Urdu as the sole national language, sparking extensive protests among the Bengali-speaking majority of East Bengal. 
Facing rising sectarian tensions and mass discontent with the new law, the government outlawed public meetings and rallies. The students of the University of Dhaka and other political activists defied the law and organized a protest on 21 February 1952. The movement reached its climax when several student demonstrators were shot dead by police firing. As a result of the movement, Pakistan government in 1956 included Bengali as national language along with Urdu. UNESCO in 1999 declared 21 February as International Mother Language Day honoring the 1952 incident. East Bengal, which was later renamed to East Pakistan in 1955, was home to Pakistan's demographic majority and played an instrumental role in the founding of the new state. Strategically, Pakistan joined the Southeast Asia Treaty Organization under the Bengali Prime Minister Muhammad Ali of Bogra as a bulwark against communism. However, tensions between East and West Pakistan grew rapidly over political exclusion, economic neglect and ethnic and linguistic discrimination. The state of Pakistan was subjected to years of military rule due to fears of Bengali political supremacy under democracy. Elected Bengali-led governments at the federal and provincial levels, which were led by statesmen such as A. K. Fazlul Haq and H. S. Surawardi, were deposed. East Pakistan witnessed the rise of Bengali self-determination calls led by Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and Maulana Bashani in the 1960s. Rahman launched the Six-Point Movement for Autonomy in 1966. After the 1970 national election, Rahman's party, the Awami League, had emerged as the largest party in Pakistan's parliament. The erstwhile Pakistani military junta refused to accept election results which triggered civil disobedience across East Pakistan. The Pakistani military responded by launching a genocide that caused the Bangladesh Liberation War in 1971. The first government of Bangladesh and the Mukti Bahini waged a guerrilla campaign with support from neighbouring India, which hosted millions of war refugees. Global support for the independence of East Pakistan increased due to the conflict's humanitarian crisis, with the Indian Armed Forces intervening in support of the Bangladesh forces in the final two weeks of the war and ensuring Pakistan's surrender. <laughs> Bangladesh 1971 -present. After independence, Bangladesh adopted a secular democracy under its new constitution in 1972. Awami League Premier Sheikh Mujibur Rahman became the country's strongman and implemented many socialist policies. A one-party state was enacted in 1975. Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was assassinated later that year during a military coup that ushered in 16 years of military dictatorships and presidential governments. The Liberation War commander Ziar Rahman emerged as Bangladesh's leader in the late 1970s. He reoriented the country's foreign policy towards the West and restored free markets and the multi party polity. President Zia was assassinated in 1981 during a failed military coup. He was eventually succeeded by his army chief Hussein Muhammad Ershad. Lasting for nine years, Ershad's rule witnessed continued pro-free market reforms and the devolution of some authority to local government. The South Asian Association for Regional Cooperation was founded in Dhaka in 1985. 
The Jatiya Party government made Islam the state religion in 1988, a popular uprising restored parliamentary democracy in 1991. Since then, Bangladesh has largely alternated between the premierships of Sheikh Hasina of the Awami League and Khaled Azir of the Bangladesh Nationalist Party, as well as technocratic caretaker governments. Emergency rule was imposed by the military in 2007 and 2008 after widespread street violence between the League and BNP. The restoration of democratic government in 2009 was followed by the initiation of the International Crimes Tribunal to prosecute surviving collaborators of the 1971 genocide. Today, the country is an emerging economy, listed as one of the next eleven and experiencing growing industrial development, but continues to face political, economic and social challenges. Historical maps and flags of states Bengal has been an independent territory during several periods in history, while at other times, it has been part of larger empires. Bengal has also been a regional empire, ruling over neighbouring regions like Bihar, Orissa, Arakan, and parts of North India, Assam and Nepal. Maps. Topic Flags Topic Politics Politically, the region is divided between the People's Republic of Bangladesh, an independent state, and the eastern provinces of the Republic of India, including West Bengal, Assam and Tripura. Politically both Bangladesh and Indian Bengal are socialist, with left-wing parties dominating the region's politics. <laughs> Bangladeshi Republic The state of Bangladesh is a parliamentary republic based on the Westminster system, with a written constitution and a president elected by parliament for mostly ceremonial purposes. The government is headed by a prime minister, who is appointed by the president from among the popularly elected 300 members of parliament in the Jatiyo Sangshad, the national parliament. The Prime Minister is traditionally the leader of the single largest party in the Jatiyo Sangshad. Under the constitution, Islam is recognized as the state religion, while Hindus, Buddhists, Christians and people of all other denominations are stated to enjoy equal rights. Between 1975 and 1990, Bangladesh had a presidential system of government. Since the 1990s, it was administered by non-political technocratic caretaker governments on four occasions, the last being under military-backed emergency rule in 2007 and 2008. The Awami League and the Bangladesh Nationalist Party are the two largest political parties in Bangladesh. Bangladesh is a prominent member of the United Nations, being the largest contributor of peacekeeping forces in the world and a key promoter of multilateral diplomacy. It is also a member of SAARC, the Developing Eight Countries, BIMSTEC, the World Trade Organization, NAM, the OIC and the Commonwealth of Nations. A developing country with high levels of poverty, Bangladesh has achieved significant strides in human development compared to its neighbours. <inaudible> <inaudible> Indian Bengal 
West Bengal, Tripura and Assam home to the Barak Valley are provincial states of the Republic of India, with local executives and assemblies features shared with other states in the Indian federal system. The President of India appoints a governor as the ceremonial representative of the Union government. The governor appoints the Chief Minister on the nomination of the Legislative Assembly. The Chief Minister is the traditionally the leader of the party or coalition with most seats in the Assembly. President's rule is often imposed in Indian states as a direct intervention of the Union government led by the Prime Minister of India. Each state has popularly elected members in the Indian Lower House of Parliament, the Lok Sabha. Each state nominates members to the Indian Upper House of Parliament, the Raja Sabha. The state legislative assemblies also play a key role in electing the ceremonial president of India. The former president of India, Pranab Mukherjee, was a native of West Bengal and a leader of the Indian National Congress. The two major political forces in the Bengali-speaking zone of India are the Left Front and the Trinamool Congress, with the Bharatiya Janata Party and the Indian National Congress being minor players. <laughs> Cross-border relations India and Bangladesh are the world's second and eighth most populous countries respectively. Bangladesh-India relations began on a high note in 1971 when India played a major role in the liberation of Bangladesh, with the Indian Bengali populace and media providing overwhelming support to the independence movement in the former East Pakistan. The two countries had a 25-year friendship treaty between 1972 and 1996. However, differences over river sharing, border security and access to trade have long plagued the relationship. In more recent years, a consensus has evolved in both countries on the importance of developing good relations, as well as a strategic partnership in South Asia and beyond. Commercial, cultural and defence cooperation have expanded since 2010, when Prime Ministers Sheikh Hasina and Manmohan Singh pledged to reinvigorate ties. The Bangladesh High Commission in New Delhi operates a Deputy High Commission in Kolkata and a Consular Office in Agartala. India has a High Commission in Dhaka with consulates in Chittagong and Rajshahi. Frequent international air, bus and rail services connect major cities in Bangladesh and Indian Bengal, particularly the three largest cities Dhaka, Kolkata and Chittagong. Undocumented immigration of Bangladeshi workers is a controversial issue championed by right-wing nationalist parties in India but finds little sympathy in West Bengal. India has since fenced the border which has been criticised by Bangladesh. Demographics The Bengal region is one of the most densely populated areas in the world. With a population of 300 million, Bengalis are the third largest ethnic group in the world after the Han Chinese and Arabs. According to provisional results of 2011 Bangladesh census, the population of Bangladesh was 142,319,000. However, CIA's The World Factbook gives 163,654,860 as its population in a July 2013 estimate. 
According to the provisional results of the 2011 Indian National Census, West Bengal has a population of 91,347,736. So, the Bengal region, as of 2011, has at least 233 million people. This figures give a population density of 1,003.9 per square kilometers, making it among the most densely populated areas in the world. Bengali is the main language spoken in Bengal. Many phonological, lexical, and structural differences from the standard variety occur in peripheral varieties of Bengali, these include Saleti, Chittagonian, Chakma, Rangpuri, Rajbangshi, Hajong, Rohingya, and Tangchangya. English is often used for official work alongside Bengali. Other major Indo-Aryan languages such as Hindi, Urdu, Assamese, and Nepali are also familiar to Bengalis. In addition, several minority ethnolinguistic groups are native to the region. These include speakers of other Indo-Aryan languages, e.g., Bishnupriya Manipuri, Oron Sadri, various Bihari languages, Tibeto-Burman languages, e.g., Aratung, Chak, Kosh, Garo, Megam, Maiti Manipuri, Mizo, Mru, Pankwa, Rakhine, Mama, Kok Boric, Riang, Tipura, Usoi, various Chin languages, Austroasiatic languages, e.g., Kasi, Koda, Mandari, Pnar, Santali, War, and Dravidian languages, e.g., Kuruk, Sauria Paharia. Life expectancy is around 70.36 years for Bangladesh and 70.2 for West Bengal. In terms of literacy, West Bengal leads with 77% literacy rate, in Bangladesh the rate is approximately 71%. The level of poverty in West Bengal is at 19.98%, while in Bangladesh it stands at 12.9%. West Bengal has one of the lowest total fertility rates in India. West Bengal's TFR of 1.6 roughly equals that of Canada. About 20,000 people live on chars. Chars are temporary islands formed by the deposition of sediments eroded off the banks of the Ganges in West Bengal, which often disappear in the monsoon season. They are made of very fertile soil. The inhabitants of the Chars are not recognized by the government of West Bengal on the grounds that it is not known whether they are Bengalis or Bangladeshi refugees. Consequently, no identification documents are issued to char dwellers who cannot benefit from health care, barely survive because of very poor sanitation and are prevented from emigrating to the mainland to find jobs when they have turned 14. On a particular char, it was reported that 13% of women died at childbirth. Topic. Economy Historically, Bengal has been the industrial leader of the subcontinent. The region is one of the largest rice-producing areas in the world, with West Bengal being India's largest rice producer and Bangladesh being the world's fourth largest rice producer. Other key crops include jute, tea, sugarcane and wheat. There are significant reserves of limestone, natural gas and coal. Major industries include textiles, leather goods, pharmaceuticals, shipbuilding, banking and information and communication technology. Three stock exchanges are located in the region, including the Dhaka Stock Exchange, the Chittagong Stock Exchange and the Calcutta Stock Exchange. Below is a comparison of economies in the region of Bengal. <laughs> Intra-Bengal trade 
Bangladesh and India are the largest trading partners in South Asia, with two-way trade valued at an estimated $6.9 billion. Much of this trade relationship is centered on some of the world's busiest land ports on the Bangladesh-India border, particularly the West Bengal section. The partition of India severed the once strong economic links which integrated the region. Decades later, frequent air, rail and bus services are increasingly connecting cities in Bangladesh and West Bengal, as well as the wider region, including northeast India, Nepal and Bhutan. However the overall economic relationship remains well below potential. Major cities. Topic Metropolises The following are the largest cities in Bengal in terms of population. Topic Major Ports Topic Tourist Attractions Topic Strategic Importance The Bengal region is located at the crossroads of two huge economic blocks, the SAARC and ASEAN. It gives access to the sea for the landlocked countries of Nepal and Bhutan, as well as the seven sister states of northeast India. It is also located near China's southern landlocked region, including Yunnan and Tibet. Both India and Bangladesh plan to expand onshore and offshore oil and gas operations. Bangladesh is Asia's seventh largest natural gas producer. Its maritime exclusive economic zone potentially holds many of the largest gas reserves in the Asia Pacific. The Bay of Bengal is strategically important for its vital shipping lanes and its central location between the Middle East and the Pacific. The Bay of Bengal Initiative, based in Dhaka, brings together Bangladesh, India, Myanmar, Thailand, Nepal, Bhutan and Sri Lanka to promote economic integration in the subregion. Other regional groupings include the Bangladesh-China-India-Myanmar Forum for Regional Cooperation and the Bangladesh-Bhutan-India-Nepal initiative. Culturally, Bengal is significant for its huge Hindu and Muslim populations. Bengali Hindus make up the second largest linguistic community in India. Bengali Muslims are the world's second largest Muslim ethnicity after Arab Muslims, and Bangladesh is the world's third largest Muslim majority country after Indonesia and Pakistan. Topic Culture Topic Language The Bengali language developed between the seventh and tenth centuries from Apavramsa and Mugadi Prakrit. It is written using the indigenous Bengali alphabet, a descendant of the ancient Brahmi script. Bengali is the tenth most spoken language in the world. It is an Eastern Indo-Aryan language and one of the easternmost branches of the Indo-European language family. It is part of the Bengali Assamese languages. Bengali has greatly influenced other languages in the region, including Odia, Assamese, Chakma, Nepali and Rohingya. It is the sole state language of Bangladesh and the third most spoken language in India. Bengali binds together a culturally diverse region and is an important contributor to regional identity. 
The 1952 Bengali language movement in East Pakistan is commemorated by UNESCO as International Mother Language Day, as part of global efforts to preserve linguistic identity. Currency <inaudible> 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 In both Bangladesh and West Bengal, currency is commonly denominated as taka. The Bangladesh taka is an official standard bearer of this tradition, while the Indian rupee is also written as taka in Bengali script on all of its banknotes. The history of the taka dates back centuries. Bengal was home one of the world's earliest coin currencies in the first millennium BCE. Under the Delhi Sultanate, the taka was introduced by Muhammad bin Tughluq in 1329. Bengal became the stronghold of the taka. The silver currency was the most important symbol of sovereignty of the Sultanate of Bengal. It was traded on the Silk Road and replicated in Nepal and China's Tibetan protectorate. The Pakistani rupee was scripted in Bengali as taka on its banknotes until Bangladesh's creation in 1971. <laughs> Literature Bengali literature has a rich heritage. It has a history stretching back to the 3rd century BCE, when the main language was Sanskrit written in the Brahmi script. The Bengali language and script evolved circa 1000 CE from Mughadi Prakrit. Bengal has a long tradition in folk literature, evidenced by the Chaujapodo, Mangalkavya, Shri Krishna Kirtana, Maimansinga Gitika or Takuma Juli. Bengali literature in the medieval age was often either religious e Chandidas, or adaptations from other languages e during the Bengal Renaissance of the 19th and 20th centuries, Bengali literature was modernized through the works of authors such as Michael Madhusudan Dutta, Ishwar Chandra Vidyasagar, Bankam Chandra Chattopadhyay, Rabindranath Tagore, Sarat Chandra Chattopadhyay, Kazi Nazrul Islam, Satyendranath Dutta and Jaibanananda Das. In the 20th century, prominent modern Bengali writers included Saeed Mujtaba Ali, Jazamuddin, Manik Bandapadhyay, Tarasankar Bandiyapadhyay, Bibhutavushan Bandiyapadhyay, Buddhadeb Bose, Sunil Gangapadhyay and Humayun Ahmed. Prominent contemporary Bengali writers in English include Amitav Ghosh, Tamama Anam, Jhumpa Lahiri and Zia Haider Rahman among others. <laughs> Personification The Mother Bengal is a female personification of Bengal which was created during the Bengali Renaissance and later adopted by the Bengali nationalists. The Mother Bengal represents not only biological motherness but its attributed characteristics as well – protection, never-ending love, consolation, care, the beginning and the end of life. In Amar Sonar Bangla, the national anthem of Bangladesh, Rabindranath Tagore has used the word MAA mother numerous times to refer to the motherland i.e. Bengal. Despite her popularity in patriotic songs and poems, her physical representations and images are rare. Art The Pala Sina School of Art developed in Bengal between the 8th and 12th centuries and is considered a high point of classical Asian art. It included sculptures and paintings. Islamic Bengal was noted for its production of the finest cotton fabrics and saris, notably the Jamdani, which received warrants from the Mughal court. 
The Bengal school of painting flourished in Kolkata and Shantiniketan in the British Raj during the early 20th century. Its practitioners were among the harbingers of modern painting in India. Zanil Abedin was the pioneer of modern Bangladeshi art. The country has a thriving and internationally acclaimed contemporary art scene. Topic: <laughs> Architecture. Classical Bengali architecture features terracotta buildings. Ancient Bengali kingdoms laid the foundations of the region's architectural heritage through the construction of monasteries and temples for example, the Somapura Mahavihara. During the Sultanate period, a distinct and glorious Islamic style of architecture developed the region. Most Islamic buildings were small and highly artistic terracotta mosques with multiple domes and no minarets. Bengal was also home to the largest mosque in South Asia at Adena. Bengali vernacular architecture is credited for inspiring the popularity of the bungalow. The Bengal region also has a rich heritage of Indo Saracenic architecture, including numerous zamindar palaces and mansions. The most prominent example of this style is the Victoria Memorial, Kolkata. In the 1950s, Muzarul Islam pioneered the modernist terracotta style of architecture in South Asia. This was followed by the design of the Jatiyo Sangshad Barban by the renowned American architect Louis Kahn in the 1960s, which was based on the aesthetic heritage of Bengali architecture and geography. Topic: Sciences. The Gupta dynasty, which is believed to have originated in North Bengal, pioneered the invention of chess, the concept of zero, the theory of Earth orbiting the Sun, the study of solar and lunar eclipses, and the flourishing of Sanskrit literature and drama. Bengal was the leader of scientific endeavours in the subcontinent during the British Raj. The educational reforms during this period gave birth to many distinguished scientists in the region. Sir Jagadish Chandra Bose pioneered the investigation of radio and microwave optics, made very significant contributions to plant science, and laid the foundations of experimental science in the Indian subcontinent. IEEE named him one of the fathers of radio science. He was the first person from the Indian subcontinent to receive a U.S. patent, in 1904. In 1924–25, while researching at the University of Dhaka, Professor Satyendra Nath Bose well known for his works in quantum mechanics, provided the foundation for Bose–Einstein statistics and the theory of the Bose–Einstein condensate. In the United States, the Bengali-American engineer Fazlur Rahman Khan emerged as the father of tubular designs in skyscraper construction. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Music. The Baal tradition is a unique heritage of Bengali folk music. The 19th century mystic poet Lalan Shah is the most celebrated practitioner of the tradition. Other folk music forms include Gombhira, Bhatiali, and Bawaya. Hazen Raja is a renowned folk poet of the Salet region. Folk music in Bengal is often accompanied by the ektara, a one stringed instrument. Other instruments include the dotara, dhol, flute, and tabla. The region also has a rich heritage in North Indian classical music. Cuisine 
Bengali cuisine is the only traditionally developed multi-course tradition from the Indian subcontinent. Rice and fish are traditional favorite foods, leading to a saying that, "...fish and rice make a Bengali." Bengal's vast repertoire of fish-based dishes includes hilsa preparations, a favorite among Bengalis. Bengalis make distinctive sweetmeats from milk products, including roshogola, chom chom, and several kinds of pith. The old city of Dhaka is noted for its distinct Indo-Islamic cuisine, including biryani, bakarkani and kebab dishes. <laughs> Boats There are 150 types of Bengali country boats plying the 700 rivers of the Bengal Delta, the vast floodplain and many oxbow lakes. They vary in design and size. The boats include the dinghy and sampan among others. Country boats are a central element of Bengali culture and have inspired generations of artists and poets, including the ivory artisans of the Mughal era. The country has a long shipbuilding tradition, dating back many centuries. Wooden boats are made of timber such as jarrel Dipterocarpus turbinatus, sal Shore robusta, sundari Heritiera foams, and burma teak Tectons grandis. Medieval Bengal was shipbuilding hub for the Mughal and Ottoman navies. The British Royal Navy later utilized Bengali shipyards in the 19th century, including for the Battle of Trafalgar. Attire Bengali women commonly wear the shari and the salwar kameez, often distinctly designed according to local cultural customs. In urban areas, many women and men wear western-style attire. Among men, European dressing has greater acceptance. Men also wear traditional costumes such as the kurta with dhoti or pajama, often on religious occasions. The lungi, a kind of long skirt, is widely worn by Bangladeshi men. <laughs> Festivals Durga Puja is the biggest festival of the Hindus in Bengal as well as the most significant socio-cultural event of the region in general. The two Eids and Muharram are the important festivals for Muslims. Christmas called Borodin in Bengali is also a major festival where people irrespective of their beliefs and faiths participate. Other major festivals include Kali Puja, Saraswati Puja, Holi, Rath Jatra, Janmashtami, Poila Bashak, and Paush Parban. Media Bangladesh has a diverse, outspoken and privately owned press, with the largest circulated Bengali language newspapers in the world. English language titles are popular in the urban readership. West Bengal had 559 published newspapers in 2005, of which 430 were in Bengali. Bengali cinema is divided between the media hubs of Kolkata and Dhaka. Sports Cricket and football are popular sports in the Bengal region. Local games include sports such as KHO KHO and Kabaddi, the latter being the national sport of Bangladesh. An Indo-Bangladesh Bengali Games has been organized among the athletes of the Bengali-speaking areas of the two countries. Topic: 
See also Bengali Renaissance Bengalis East India Hindi Belt List of Bengalis Northeast India Punjab equals equals notes <laughs>